Yeah. Cooper and G Way, Big Godo. Uh, they are an amazing, um, very energetic group of young men. Um, I've seen them grow. I appreciate the consistency and uh, power to you guys. Keep bringing the good news. Music is a platform that we use. And it's what we're using this morning at 106.1 Next Radio, Urban Praise Experience. Now, we are honored. Uh, now, for this one, this one is special, it's different, it's brilliant, it's big. This one, you have to have your pen and paper. Because we're about to school you, we're about to rock your world, we're about to disrupt, distort the pictures, the... I, I don't even know what to say, but I just want to start this. We have guests in the house from all over the world, but I will introduce the bishop that has traveled with the team. Israel United in Christ is in the house, and Bishop Nathaniel is here with us. All praise to the Most Good morning, sir. Good morning. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't have the app and you're not watching us by way of television, let me try and describe. Um, the group that we have in here, they're almost like giants, like on, 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 they are big, clean cut, smelling good with the beards and wearing, uh, I love the royal purple and, ah, uh, Bishop, please introduce the team that you've traveled with. Thanks for having us. All praise to the most. I have Captain Isaac here reading for me. Shalom, shalom. I got our officer, Joel, he's the cameraman for us. We got officer Gadalai right here. I don't know what he's doing. And I got Deacon Lava back there. Uh, also, Yoana Thumb. I uh, got Brother Malachi and our sister Fortunate back there. A very good morning and welcome to all the team. And um, I like that uh, the structure, the way you're using it, is almost military. You know, you have a captain and. Oh, yes. This it's, is a, it's intentional. It's biblical. Okay. It's biblical. Remember, uh, it says we are soldiers of the Lord in Timothy. I know. You know, endure hardness as a good soldier. I, I remember singing that song. I am a soldier in the army. You know, growing up. Yes. Yes. I remember that song. Yes. <laughs> so it is intentional. Oh, yes. Because we're at war. Yes. We're at war. Uh, we're at war with the uh, colonialism of the world, and colonialism has infiltrated the Christian church. The yeah. Christian church is based on colonialism, and we're at war with them. So, okay. before we, I want to open with Matthew 11, verse 6, because I know when we get through this topic, yes. many people are going to be offended. Okay. So I want to preface it by saying, by reading what Christ said here. Is it Matthew 11 and 6? You know I'm getting old. Mm. Find me that. Yes, sir. Isaac, you got it. Matthew 11, verse 6. And blessed is he whosoever shall not be offended in me. Now, I wanted to preface today's lesson with that. Mm -hmm. Blessed is he that is not offended, because many people might get offended. Okay. And I, it's not our intention to offend anybody. No. But the truth often offends people. Offends people. Yes. But you're also not shy. No, not at all. To offend. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I told you guys, get your pen and paper, because we're about to get schooled. And I've got my pen and paper, and let's get it on. Mm. See, the brief that I got, you know, before hosting you, I was like, uh-huh, I want to do this. Because myself, growing up as a child, you know, I, I had my own questions. And I'm, I'm son of a bishop. My father's mm. gone to be with the Lord. Uh, but he's one of the generals in the kingdom business in this country. And I remember when we were older, because culturally, you can't talk really back or question your father. Right. But when we, we were older, we had traveled. My younger brother went to Jamaica. And he went on a different side, but he had a vision while he was there. And he saw the hand of God, you know, reach, reach out to him. And it was a black hand. So he comes back and he's like, Dad, God is black. And my father was like, what? 
What are you talking about? <laughs> it was almost like the Kanye West, you ain't got the answer, Sway. But he had saved it. Mm. And of course it was, you know, my father's old school. Mm -hmm. You know, we grew up seeing a white Jesus. Right. A very cute white Jesus with the beard. He's not cute to me. That's the devil, if you ask me. Okay. He, I told you get your pens and paper because the, the rocking I was talking about is now. Please educate us, um, enlighten us, open people's minds, and let's dive straight into it. Yes, sir. The question is whether or not Jesus. Okay, is what? Whether or not Jesus is, you didn't finish the sentence. Because <laughs> you already told me. <laughs> Tragics. You can say black. Can we? Yeah, yeah. Because you know, people on the hills, you know, this, the colonialists we were talking about, yes. they came and they own yes. the hills yeah, in I, this city. Exactly. I'm not naming which religion uh, yes. <laughs> preferences, but. But you'd better say it. That okay, you, you say it. Uh, what? The Catholics came and they, they took over everything here mm. in Uganda. And they, they were the ones who first came. Even you and, guys, and, the and, Church and of the England. Angli and the Anglicans, the Anglicans came and, and they said Jesus is white. Mm. Um, so there's a whole uh, discrepancy of whether Jesus is white or black. Mm. So is Jesus white or black? Oh, he's black. We're going to show you. And then the question is, does it matter? That would be the next question. Yes. Does it matter? Does it matter? Let's, let's open it with John 8.32. I'm sure you're all familiar with this verse. Captain Isaac, better read that one, right? This is the book of John, chapter 8 and verse 32. And it says, one second, John 8, 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So Christ is talking about setting the Israelites free. Free from what? Not just spiritual bondage, but physical bondage. Bondage, because remember, Rome was dominating the land of Israel at this time. Yeah, but you're going to find that the people of Uganda are more than what you've been told. The people of Uganda are part of the twelve tribes of the nation of Israel, because all that has occurred here, colonialism and slavery, is recorded in the Bible to happen to the Israelites, mm. and it says the Israelites would lose their identity, just like you all have, and we're going to show you that. Mm. So now, Christ, watch this. Second Corinthians chapter eleven. I believe I want verse 2, where it says, For if he that cometh, it might be verse 2 or 3 or 4, one of those. I hope you guys have your pen and paper. 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians chapter 11 and verse 4. For if he that cometh preacheth another Jesus, whom we have not preached. So Paul is prophesying somebody may come preaching another Jesus who's not preached in the Bible. Mm -hmm. right? Or if ye receive another spirit. And this other Jesus will come with another spirit, a seducing spirit. Go ahead. Which ye have not received, or another gospel. And this other Jesus would have a totally different gospel. Go ahead. Which ye have not accepted, mm -hmm. ye might well bear with him. We might bear with him uh, by going after him with scriptures. That's how we bear with him. So now watch this. Mm. Matthew 24 9. Christ told us something. Christ warned us. I mean, let's see if we took heed to the warning. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24 and verse, verse 4. Mm -hmm. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you, for many, many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. That's a prophetic warning, that many shall come. Many, not five people, not ten, many shall come saying they are Christ and shall deceive many. I, I would like to interject there, and um, usually that is uh, talking more about, rather than who uh, Jesus Christ uh, or is the person, um, they're talking about um, usually most, most, most of the time that we have heard from this uh, verse, they're talking about different people coming up as Isaac, as Tuanjex, as <laughs> in, the um, name of. in the name of. So is, does, that, does that necessarily speak of the person that is, or, or they are people that will come up and speak and say they are Jesus Christ? There are people that will come up saying they are Christ. Watch this. Here's the evidence. So, remember 2 Corinthians said, if someone comes preaching another Jesus whom they have not preached, so now the question is, did anybody ever see Jesus Christ? Is he described in the Holy Bible? 
Some people say yes, some people say no. Let's see what the Bible says in Revelation 1. Because in order for us to heed the warning of Christ, that many would come in his name saying that they are Christ and deceive many, there must be some description of him to help us beware of this coming happening. Read that. The book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. So the word revelation means revealing. The revealing of Jesus Christ. I want to get to the point. Jump to verse Verse, 10. Verse 10. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what thou seest, write in a book. I want to preface, I want to highlight that part. What you see, write in a book. So as John is talking with Christ, he begins to write what he sees. Verse 14, watch this. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So the first thing John records is the description of Christ's hair on his head and his hair on his face. He said it's white like wool. Wool is Afro hair. That's number one. It's a texture. Go ahead. As white as snow. And it's fully white. So, so far, it's not straight thin hair. It's Afro hair. Wool hair is Afro hair. That's number one. So the first, that little cute image you were talking about, that's strike one on that image. Go ahead. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. Now, we, we may not know what that means, but we have to find a precept by Moses, because Moses prophesied about the coming Messiah. Genesis 49, verse 12. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 49, and verse 12. His eyes shall be red with wine. So he's talking about the Messiah that will come from Judah. His eyes shall be red with wine. Christ's first miracle was he turned water into wine. So that's when the whites of your eyes get red. So go back to Revelation now. Read that part again. His head and his hairs were white like wool, as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. And his feet. Now he looks at Jesus' feet. Like unto fine brass. Brass is light brown. As if they burned in a furnace. If you burn anything, you can burn that white piece of paper in a furnace. It turns black. It doesn't turn white. It doesn't turn uh, orange. It turns black. You can burn white rice in fire. It gets black. So here, you have a dark-skinned man with white woolly hair. You mean the colonizers never read that? They've read it and they've despised what the Bible says. So they gave you Leonardo da Vinci's description. A yellow head, Jesus, with pink red skin. And blue, highlight blue eyes or green eyes. And guess what the colonists did? When they came throughout Conf uh, Africa and began the enslavement of our people, they forced us to accept their images, Jesus. And if we did not accept it, what did they do? They killed us. They murdered us. This is how we got into their churches. Anglican, Seventh, all these little religions we're in, all based on white supremacy, colonialism. And we support it to this day, but now the truth is coming out. Christ said, if you want to be set free, you must, the truth will set you free. So we got to go by what the Bible says, not how I feel in my heart. I got to go by what the word of God says, not what the colonizer put in your head. Because what I notice with Christians, they throw thoughts out there that are non-biblical to, to confuse people. Okay, now is there more than that? Are there other descriptions of Jesus in the Bible? Yes! Daniel saw a vision of Christ in Daniel 10, verse uh, 5 and 6. Watch what this he says. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 10 and verse 5. Then I lifted up mine eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose loins were girded with fine gold of euphaz. His body also was like the burl. Burl is a green garment. Go ahead. And his face as the appearance of lightning. He had a glow on his face. Go ahead. And his eyes as lamps of fire. That's the same thing John said. Come on. And his arms. Now he looks at his arms. And his feet. And his feet. Like in color. What? Like in what? Like in color to polished brass. Polished brass is brass burned in a furnace. So here, another dark skinned man. So it's like, wait a minute. So somebody's been lying to us for over 400 years. But is there more? Song of Solomon. King Solomon was the king of Israel. He ruled the Israelites. What was he? Let's look at, let's see what does it describe him. Let's see. Song of Solomon chapter one, verse one. So the Song of Solomon chapter one and verse one. The songs of songs, which is Solomon's. Verse five. Verse five. I am black. What? I am black, but comely. 
O ye daughters of Jerusalem. You know what comely means? Comely means good looking. I'm black and beautiful. So how, and when you read Matthew 1, the genealogy of Jesus Christ, it names Solomon as one of his ancestors. Let's get some more because maybe that's all I got. Jeremiah 8, the prophet Jeremiah. What did he, does he describe himself? Jeremiah 8, verse 21. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 8 and verse 21. And it says, For the hurt of the daughter of my people am I hurt. I am black. Astonishment has taken hold on me. Jeremiah says, I am black. Wait, 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 wait. I see pictures of Jeremiah as a European. Let's get some more, because maybe that's all I got. Job, the prophet Job, Job chapter 30, verse 30. Color is all through the Bible. The prophets and the Israelites of the Bible look just like the people of Uganda, but you've been deceived by the colonizers. Come on. Job chapter 30, verse 30. My skin is black upon me. No, his, did it say my condition or my emotions? My skin is black upon me. I like this funny story. I always tell about this verse. We were teaching at a uh, college one day, and a minister stands up, European. He says, no, it doesn't mean skin. It means his condition. I said, I'm sorry. I've learned how to read now. You don't have, you know, your words have no power over me anymore. I know what the word skin means, and it doesn't mean emotion. It means skin. So Job said, my skin is black upon me. But is that all I got? Let's see. Give me uh, Jeremiah 14. And you know the funny thing about Moses? Yeah. Moses and the Israelites, Egypt. Where is Egypt at? Africa. Okay. Why do you see Moses portrayed as a European? Mm. It's taking place in Africa. Mm. The Israelites are all in Africa. Yeah. <laughs> Bishop, Bishop, yes. allow me just to pay some bills real quick. I right. done told you, get your pen, because it is happening. It is happening right now, and we will be back in a second. We're still continuing with this. 106.1, next radio. Remember, I told you to get your pen and pepper and that we were about to be schooled. That is happening right now. Remember all that hype and energy I started with? Uh, right now, I'm very calm because I'm being put in check. <laughs> Bishop, yes. let's continue. Okay. From where we stopped. Yes, we're going to read Jeremiah 14. To what I want to say to your listeners that uh, we read from the King James Version Bible for a reason. Yeah. Um, the King James Version is the best uh, translation from the Hebrew. And when it uses the word black throughout it to describe the people. Yeah. If you will do a comparison, the new translations have removed all references to black from mm. the Bibles. Good News Bible, New International Version, New World Translation. They've removed it. Why? Because we're waking up now. And they've been watching the Israelites on the rise from, from America, from the UK. Now we're in Africa. They said, stop printing those King James versions. There is a conspiracy to remove this Bible and bring the new, these new versions out here. So, so that you never wake up. So now we're in Jeremiah chapter 14 and verse 2. This is the book of Jeremiah 14 verse 2. Judah mourneth, and the gates thereof languish. They are black unto the ground. They are black. Judah, the, the word Jew, because we asked about the Jews. The word Jew is an abbreviation for Judah. When you say Jew, you're saying Judah. It says Judah is black unto the ground, meaning black like the earth. Now watch Adam. Watch me show him about Adam. The first man, Adam, I've seen many movies where they show Adam as a European man. Uh, oh, God help me. So go to Genesis chapter 2. For actually, let's start at Genesis 1, verse 26. Let's start there. This is the book of Genesis 1, 26. And God said, let us, let us make man in our image. Let us make man in our image. Chapter 2 now, verse 7. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground. The dust of the ground is the soil of the earth. So what was Adam? What was Adam? If he made, what color is the soil of the earth? Is it white? No. No. Well, you quiet. He's just <laughs> looking at me. <laughs> the soil of the earth looks like us. Everybody in this room yeah. looks like Adam. Yeah. So God says, make the first man look like us. So what is God? <laughs> don't be afraid. I know you might be scared, but don't be. This is the truth. Yes. When we talk, um, usually um, when we're in the churches, when they say image of God, um, there was a pastor who said, it's not what we look like mm. in our skin color, but See. what our spiritual man, wow. uh, our spiritual nature. So um, I think that that's where we get confused. Mm. 
um, uh, in understanding that when he says image, uh -huh. it's the splitting image, the, the, the skin color, the way we look, uh, our big noses, mm -hmm. our, our posture, things like that, that, that are of um, a more African nature. Right, so that, that minister did some voodoo on you. That's what he did. <laughs> yes. He said, put a spell out there. They love to avoid color. Great you are, but now it's wake up time. Okay, watch this. Give me the next one. Uh, oh, first John 4. Y'all hey, keep me abreast of the time. I do want to get to the history of Uganda. Yeah. First John 4. I'm going to show you Uganda in the Bible. First John 4. Watch this. Because everybody says, oh, Jesus came, Jesus came. First John 4, verse 1. First John 4, verse, verse 1. Yeah. Beloved, believe not every spirit, mm -hmm. but try the spirits, whether they are of God. So how do you try the spirits? By the Bible references. If a minister says Jesus is white, say, can you show me that in the Bible, minister? That's how you try it. I want a Bible verse to prove that. Remember in Uganda, and not just Uganda, America too, they made laws forbidding us to read. If we were caught reading, they were killing us. So it was easy for them to put European Jesus and teach us that. Now read on, watch this. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Mm -hmm. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesseth that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. So everyone that confesses Jesus came in the flesh is of God. If he came in the flesh, his flesh had a color. What was it? What type of flesh did he have? So you, was it the Chinese flesh? Was it the European flesh? Nope. Was it the black man flesh? Yeah, the black man. There, yeah. there you go. Yeah. Watch this. Verse 3. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. All these Europeans, these colonizers, they don't confess Jesus Christ came in the flesh as a black man. They go, no, 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 no. He came in our flesh. That's what they do. So they do not. De does, it, does it read more? And this is that spirit of Antichrist. Boom. Whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. There are many antichrists, meaning people that will read the description of Jesus Christ and reject it. Imagine you go on the Hollywood shows like the Kirk Franklin, y'all heard God talking about him, yeah. and stand up and say, according to the Bible, Jesus is black. What do you think Hollywood and all these people would do to them? They will take everything you have from you because it's not about the truth. It's about church is about feel good. It's not about the truth, though, because when you bring out the truth, you're condemned. Now let's talk about Uganda. I love Uganda. Yeah. <laughs> Deuteronomy 28. As we were making our exodus from Egypt, right? Remember, most of the Israelites was taking place in Africa. Don't forget the thought, Africa. Yeah. And oh, by the way, Africa, uh, the name Africa comes from Rome. It was uh, a general named Leo Scipios Africanus who conquered Hannibal. And Rome put his last name, Africa, on this continent. I just want to put that in there. So now, Deuteronomy 28. Yeah. Deuteronomy 28. Uh, let's start at verse 15 to get to the point. But it shall come to pass, this is Moses talking to the twelve tribes, If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So Moses said, if you don't keep God's commandments, not his religions, the whole Bible is about commandments. You will not find Anglican. Protestant, uh, uh, Catholic. Pentecostal, Catholic, all that was created by the colonizers. We must leave from that stuff. Watch the curses that came on us and let's see if it happened to the people in Uganda or the white people in Israel. Verse 32, please. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Wait a minute. I'm not the smartest man on earth, but I know a little bit of history. I know the sons and daughters of Uganda was taken from you and sent to America, sent to Europe and the Caribbean, okay? And thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And you cried when your sons and daughters was taken from you and sold into slavery. And there shall be no might in thine hand. You had no economic might, no military might, or political might to re-get your children back. You couldn't get your sons and daughters back. Watch this. The fruit of thy land. The fruit of your land is more than apples and oranges. It represents the natural resources of Uganda. Like here in Uganda, you have oil, you have gold, 
you have silver. copper, you have what? Silver. Silver, you have many natural resources here. Read that again. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. Does another nation come here and eat the fruit of the ground? Go ahead. And thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. So now let's think about that. Does that happen in Uganda? Yes. Let's get some more descriptions of curses there, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. Uh-oh, say that word. It didn't say friends. God says enemies. Go ahead. Which the Lord shall send against thee. The Lord sent them against us. Why? Because we broke God's commandments. In hunger. You're going to serve your enemies in hunger. That means food. And in thirst. Water. And in nakedness. If you want clothes for your naked body, your enemies must provide them. And in want of all things. If you want education, your education comes from your enemies. Go ahead. And he, your enemy, shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. So did we have yokes of iron on our necks during the time of slavery? Yes. What is this proving? We're the Israelites. We're not Ugandans. We're not African Americans. We're not Haitians or Jamaicans. We're the Israelites. Let's get some more. Go ahead. Verse uh, 68. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Uh, Egypt again, the word Egypt means bondage, house of bondage. You can reference that with Exodus 20 and verse 2. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Just to show you what Egypt makes reference to. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So Egypt represents the house of bondage. So back in Deuteronomy, let's read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. What race of people went into bondage on ships? Just think about it. Who went into slavery on ships? Go ahead. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. And there, and there once you get off the ships, ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Sold unto your enemies. For bond men, for slave men, and bond women, and slave women. And no man shall buy you. No man shall buy you means no man shall save you from the curses God put on. So what have we proven thus far? All these curses only happened to our people here on this continent. It did not happen to the white man in Israel. They're from Poland. They're from Russia. They're from Germany. Those are not the Israelites the Bible speaks of. We've been deceived as a people. Now it's wake up time. In these last days, Christ is com he's coming to deliver us. Watch this. The salvation of Jesus, Luke 1. What is Christ coming to do? People think Jesus is coming to hand out flowers and kisses to everyone. Watch what it says here. Luke 1, verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. The whole, the whole planet? Of Israel. Go ahead. For he hath visited and redeemed his people and hath raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets which have been since the world began that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us. Jesus is coming to save us from our enemies mm. and from the hand of all that hate us. Who are the enemies? We just read about it in Deuteronomy 28. The prophecy says your enemies will put yokes of iron on your neck. Your enemy will colonize your land. Your enemies will put you in slavery on ships. Now the Bible says Christ will save you from those enemies. Mm. The churches don't sing about that. The churches don't know about that. The churches are singing about a Caucasian man loving everybody. That's what they're singing about. That's a Christian. You know what Christianity is? To modern day Christianity is nothing more than democracy. The love for everyone come together as one. Have you ever forgotten the Tower of Babel? Mm. When all nations got together and God said, it shall not be so. And he sent the angels down to separate them. Christianity says, oh no, we're going to bring everyone together. And we're going to do it again. It shall not be so. So yeah. God is coming for the Israelites. That's our people. This is mm -hmm. a whole happy day. <laughs> to our listeners, ladies and gentlemen, Bishop has got me on edge. And we are not done yet. Just give me a second and we'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
uh, will it affect my Christianity? Uh, but then how how then do I relate with him? Um, say if I mean if I'm still in doubt whether he's black or white. Mm. Oh, we're gonna give you the verse, so it's gonna help you. Yeah. You might be in the middle right now, the second, but after we read the verse, you're gonna you're gonna come on up. You don't know <laughs> But now okay. Jesus, the son of God. So what I'm hearing and uh is, this is this is our Jesus is our God. What about those other people? Oh, do they have or they don't have? Oh, they no, need they, or they don't need? You or need. do they subscribe to this? They, everyone, the whole planet is going to subscribe to this Jesus. Okay. The whole planet Earth. Okay. And everyone in their proper order. Okay. The Israelites on top. We're going to be the number one. Remember, the 144,000 are Israelites. It's not going to be made up of Chinese and Japanese and Arabs. No, it's not happening. Oh my God. It's going to be our people. The, the, also, also, if possible. So we'll be there in our colors? I think, I think we have a couple of questions. <laughs> so maybe you give us like five minutes for you to answer those. Because I'll just say it now and then maybe. But um, I usually ask my daughter to ask me questions about the Bible that she doesn't understand. One of the questions she asked um, on Friday was um, if Jesus was made in an image of one person. How else did the other colors come oh. from? Oh, that's a good one. Uh, when you read Genesis 25, remember Jacob and Esau? Yeah. Remember Esau, it said he came out red all over. The white man's really not white. If you look at him, he's really red. Yeah. The blood shows through his skin. All Caucasians come from Esau. We come from Jacob. Yeah. But neither is the black man really black. We're right, brown. we're brown. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But the brown. reference is black. So yes. Black, which is brown. Because they call us black today in society. Yeah. We know we're brown. And God, God knew that. That's why he put those references in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, back to Esau. Remember Romans 9, 13? You ever, you ever read that? Yeah. It, where Paul says, as, is, as it is written, Jacob have I loved. Who can finish the rest of the verse? But Esau. Look it up. On your Bible app, then. Romans 9, 13. The war goes Can I get my phone? 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 Can has been or is a real experience and we're here with Bishop Nathaniel with his team from Israel United in Christ. Bishop! Yes sir. Yes sir. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You are, um, man, you're a disruptor. Uh, but for this morning, you, a positive you, one. You, you've made us um, start to look at the Bible different, uh, <laughs> start yeah. to look at verses different and, and begin to question, because we, we, we were both, uh, we, we are both uh, pastor's kids. Yeah. But what has been taught for a long time is now beginning to unravel and there's, it's like, it's like there's been a dust over our eyes and yes. we're beginning to see a, a little bit better. Still doubting, I'm sure, but... <laughs> I'm going to help you with that. Yeah. Yeah. Many now, questions. Now, one yeah. question you guys ask, does not matter? What does Jesus look like? That was a question. Um, and remember this, it does matter, because if it didn't, why did the Europeans give us their image to worship? Now I'm going to give you a scripture. Revelation 14, let's start at verse 9. And the third angel followed... Go ahead, go ahead. And the third angel followed them, saying, with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast... So now the beast, you might think it's a monster coming out of the earth, but it's not. When you go to, here's a precept under, to explain beast. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, and it's verse 18, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Ecclesiastes chapter 3, it's either verse 16 or 18. 
Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse. Uh, Is it 18? Let me find it. Verse 18. I said in mine heart concerning the estate of the sons of men that God might manifest in them that they might see that they themselves are beasts. So the sons of men are considered beasts. So when you go back to Revelation 13, it talks about the beast. It's talking about man, but yeah. what man? Let's read it again. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice. We're in Revelation 14, verse 9. If any man worship the beast. This is a particular man on earth. And his image. And his image. So this particular man pushed an image throughout the earth that people would worship. Watch what it says. And receive his mark. Receive his policies, his philosophies. In his forehead. Meaning, in your forehead, your brain. You believe what he has taught you. Or in his hand. You support what he has taught you. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. So if you follow that image, you shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God. Which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented you with shall be tormented with fire, with fire and brimstone, and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So it does matter. So if you worship this image, because Revelation talks about this image going good Revelation 13, verse 6. It said, Let me show you what he did. The Israelites in the Bible are called the saints of God. When you read Revelation, I mean Psalms 149, verse 14, it calls 148, verse 14, where is it? we're called saints? Um, Psalms. Psalms. Psalms 148, verse 14. Yeah, the Israelites are called the saints. I'm just going to prove that. Get it real quick. And then we're going to read Revelation. I'm going to show you the history in a nutshell of what happens to us in Uganda and worldwide. Psalms 148 and verse 14. He also exalted the horn of his people, the praise of all his saints. Even of the children of Israel. So the children of Israel are the saints of God. Everybody's not the saints of God, only the Israelites. Now watch this, Revelation 13, 6. Revelation chapter 13 and verse 6. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against God. So this particular man again would blaspheme against God. To blasphemy, to blaspheme his name mm -hmm. and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. Mm -hmm. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints. This man, this race of man made war with the Israelites. Hmm, let's see what happened. And to overcome them. And they overcame us. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. This man has so much power, he rules the earth with nuclear power. I wonder who that is. Go ahead. Verse 12. And he exercised. Where are you at? Revelation 13, 6 and 7, I want. Yeah, I just read that. Oh, you read 7? You yes, said sir. verse 12. <laughs> I'm at verse 8. You want me to just read No, no. That? Read uh, 7 again. And it was given unto him to make war with the saints and to overcome them. And power was given him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him. That's what I wanted you to get to. So this man that would rule the earth, people would worship him. Who is this talking about? It ain't the black man. It ain't the Arabs. It ain't the Chinese. for you. People on the earth are worshiping the white man. What are we reading? The Holy Bible. You've not learned the Bible yet, but today is your beginning day. Go ahead. Whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb. So some of our people are going to die in this sin. Worshiping this man is Jesus because it does matter what he looks like. And this is, so what are we reading? Okay, was there more Isaac? I see Oh, uh, no, that's it. I was, I, that's it. Okay. So it does matter. What are you going to say? Wow. <laughs> okay, so this is where I'm going to ask you to really, really now bring it home. Yes. I'm, I'm hearing all of this mm -hmm. and I'm thinking, okay, now that we're establishing Jesus mm -hmm. and his color, mm -hmm. Jesus was a black man. An Israelite. Mm -hmm. Israelite. Mm -hmm. My question is this Jesus, and unfortunately, we're running out of time, you have. Um, you, you have a good seven minutes okay. to bring it home. Okay. Jesus, Israelite, black man. Mm -hmm. After that is established. Now, enlighten us. This Jesus is for us. The African, the man of color, the person that is black, that looks like me, yeah. is for us. Who is the one for the other people? <laughs> if they don't have their own, uh -huh. do they subscribe to our own? And how does this okay. work out? 
I'm going to help you. Yes. Ma Matthew 15, 24. Christ said something. And it's the same thing written in Matthew 1, 21. But I want Matthew 15, 24. Matthew 15, verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So Christ told you he's for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Why are we lost? We've lost our heritage, yeah. our culture, our true language, our land. So it's just for us, not the other ones. Right. Now watch this. Isaiah 14. Now, I, again, if you get offended, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm reading Bible scripture to you. Here's a prophecy about the kingdom of heaven. Y'all all want to go to the kingdom of heaven on earth, right? Right? You want to go? Yeah. You want to be there? Yeah. He ain't saying nothing. <laughs> You no, I want to go. Okay. Yeah. Isaiah 14. Here's the no, prophecy. No, because you say it on earth. I, I... Yeah, the kingdom's going to be on earth. Remember, oh, the, okay. thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is, is in heaven. So there is a heaven. There is a heaven. But, but we're not going to heaven? No, you're going to be on earth. Watch this. Okay. See, you haven't learned the Bible yet. You're learning now. Isaiah 14. Watch. Isaiah 14, verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. We're Jacob. And will yet choose Israel. He's going to, although we're in the midst of sin, he's going to choose us because Christ died for us. Go ahead. And set them in their own land. God's going to set us in our own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. Now here's your questions about the other nations. They're the strangers. They shall be joined with us. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They shall cleave to us. Go ahead. And the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord. The servants and handmaids, and they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Whoa! And it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow, and from thy fear, and from the hard bondage wherein thou was made to serve. So we're going to rule the oppressors. That's the prophecy of the king. So we're going to flip the script. Oh, yeah. I told you, God is a just God. The God you've been serving, you, he, the white, he gives the white man a pass for all the evils he's done. He gets, but not the God of the Bible. He says, no, justice is coming. Uh, True justice. <laughs> so, are you scared? You look kind of nervous. <laughs> like, what? What's going on? <laughs> yeah, I'm not scared. I'm just curious. I'm like, okay, so, so there's a flipping of the script. Yes. Now we're ruling over the Muzungu. We call him Muzungu. Okay. The white man. <laughs> but that is here. Mm. Now, but what about heaven? That's what we just read about. That's heaven. So heaven comes here. Yes, the kingdom. Give me that Revelation 21. Watch this, because we all want to go. But what must, Revelation 21, I want 12. I think it's 12. Mm. Revelation chapter 21. Because what I might take out here from what you're saying mm. is, there is a here and there is a heaven. Yes. That will be down on earth yes. as it is in heaven. Correct. So what heaven is for God and his angels and this is for us. Right. Or there is... A transition of us leaving earth and going to heaven. No, we're going to be here. The colonizer told black people, you have to die and go up there to get your goodness. Mm. But the, meanwhile, the colonizers took over the planet. Okay. Christ said the kingdom's going to come here. Okay. That's what he's saying. Watch this. Revelation tw um, 21 verse 12. And had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and the names written thereon which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. The only names on the gates to the kingdom of heaven are the names of the 12 tribes of Israel. We cannot enter as African-American Catholics. You cannot enter as Ugandan uh, Pentecostals. That's not written in the Bible. You must enter as Judah or Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim, Manasseh, Gad, Ruth, so forth and so on. We must return to what this book says and stop following colonized lies. We have to. Those are doctrines of devils. All these little church songs y'all be playing. Now, we love the way our people sing. Kirk Franklin, Yolanda Adams. But they are singing doctrines of devils. Unifying all mankind and Jesus is white. Mm-mm. That's -mm. all wrong. I've never heard that song, Jesus is white. <laughs> well, yeah, well, what they do, they'll show you a picture of him. Like, remember Kirk Franklin? Mm -hmm. or, or, or what's the guy you with? The Kanye? He yeah. did the show and you had the white image of Jesus come out on the stage and all that, bobbing. So what the hell is this? What's going on here? <laughs> and everybody's going, Whoa! I'm like, no. I'm, I'm one of those. Oh, right, you? I'm applauding Kanye. I like what Kanye is doing. This is what I'm thinking. He was lost. Now he's found he was blind, but now he can see. Maybe he needs to see a little more. Oh, he needs to see a lot more because he's blind. He's very blind. But he's still blind? He's still blind. He doesn't realize he's an Israelite. He doesn't realize Christ is an Israelite and looks like the. He doesn't realize Christ is coming to save us from our enemies. Nobody sings about that. Oh, dude, how much time we got? 
I, I, two minutes. I got two minutes. I'm going to show you the gospel in the Bible. Watch this, Psalm 149. Mm -hmm. This is the songs. Uh, watch this. And you answer the question. Does anybody sing the songs of the Bible? Psalms 149. Mm -hmm. says, Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron to execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. Do you sing about that in church? No. No. You don't sing that. That's the gospel song. Vengeance on our enemies. Yeah. No, but there's what? Okay, there's a sword. Uh -huh, and then what? We Make that picture. Read that verse again. To yeah. bind their kings. Yeah. Why to bind their kings and fetters out? Because they did it to us. Yeah. Remember God so said. So we go and do unto them. God said. Like they did unto us. Right. Remember the Lord said. Uh, vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. We can't do it on our own. We gotta wait for Christ to return. Okay. He's gonna execute true judgment. Yeah. Revelation 13. Go ahead. So well, right. watch what Jesus Re said in Revelation. Revelation 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. That's Jesus speaking. Right? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay. Amen. Can we get an amen from you guys? Amen. Thank you. All right. <laughs> no, they're killing with a sword now. I don't know. What are we not doing that now? Killing? We're not doing that now. But we're doing that at some point. When Christ returns, he's going to execute We're going to kill judgment. the white folk? Oh, bro, hey. You know, you know what's so interesting is, yeah. that, is that people use the, the vengeance is, is the Lord's in, 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 in false terms. And mm -hmm. then they're like, oh, so now because you've done it to me, it's going to happen to you in the next few days or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> And, and, and yet it is him going to do the vengeance yes, exactly. when he comes back. Exactly. So you saw the new song that nobody in the Christian church sings about. Yeah. It tells us that's the song that we're... Remember Revelation 4? It says, and the saints of God sing a song, the song of the Lamb, the song of Moses. These songs that you know, our people sing, we might like the way they make us feel, but they're not biblical songs. Mm. They're based on the colonizer's thoughts. That's mm. what Christ said, you must be born again. I know we're out of time. I see you looking at the time. I know. I yeah. Know. <laughs> now, guys, there's no way, you know, that we would be able to nail this in just in an hour. I want to invite you to visit, um, where is the website? Because you can get a lot more information. You can ask the questions that we didn't yep. get to ask. Uh, www. I can't see with my glasses. Is Israel 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 Unite. Unite. Dot org. Dot org. Yes. www.israelunite.org Okay. People can ask questions and they can get answers? Yes. You're able you, you to... You better type it out. Or oh, we have a phone number here you can call. Oh, okay. And a, a local number yes. or they got to call a America? Local, a local number. Okay, because we got one yes, up. So we can call America too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the number is 256-753-86. Uh, 8125. Say that again. 256 753 868 125. And we also have a, a, a location here. So, okay. Uh, Kaibando. Uh, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me Yeah, it's just nice to that. It's, um, the location is Chevan Road Saro Saro along the Northern Bypass. I would have loved to hear him say Saro Saro. <laughs> <laughs> Captain. Uh, Bishop, uh, uh, how, how, how long are you guys in town for? Uh, another week. One more week. We've been here two one weeks. One more week. Oh. You can bring us back if you want. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, because I know. Woo! We need to have Bishop <laughs> one more time here. Yes, go ahead. Uh, like, uh, I was saying that like, uh, uh, after Kalere, the next the, the next town called uh, Chevandro, yeah. then you will see a school with a big signpost, yeah. Israel United in Christ. Yes. yes sir. Is that along the bypass or yes. just off the bypass? Along the bypass. Sir. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, we are every Saturday from uh, 11 to 2. 11 to 2. Yes, sir. Guys, if you want to check this out more, go to the website, visit um, the where they're, they're, they're sitting uh, by Kalelwe and uh, Bishop. Yes, sir. Man. I'm your brother. Oh, praise <laughs> love, love. Don't cry. I see some tears. I'm not. No, I'm, no, I ain't crying. <laughs> it's just we don't have enough time. I mean, you know, it's like now I'm starting to feel the questions, you know, yeah, coming yeah, in. And, yeah. Um. Okay. 
close it. I don't know how you want to close it. People are listening. I don't know. You want to pray for the people so that people are, because it it really it would take a miracle for people to to mm. get that enlightenment. Mm. I don't know. I didn't I didn't get to hear your testimony. You was not born like that. I was born evil as hell. <laughs> so something must have happened, something triggered, and you saw the light. Yes. It took you a minute, mm -hmm. a day, a week, I don't know how long it took. You see that fly you got? Yes. I got one of those. And I, I examined it. Yeah. And then I said, this is true. Yeah. Everything on the fly, I, it, I, it I must referenced have, it. It must have provoked something yeah. in your inner spirit, yeah. in your inner man. Because I was in the choirs too, singing songs and all that. And I, yeah. I took it to the minister. My minister rejected every He's Bible talking about verse. me right now, because I've, I've been singing them for 20, minutes, 20 years. <laughs> Traveled the world, 59 countries. Do you see that? Yeah. Mm. So I've my, been singing. My minister reject all of, I said, but the scripture. He oh, says, man, I don't care. Yeah. I'm not teaching that in my church. I need to get paid. He said, if I teach that, I won't make no money. I said, didn't Christ say, what shall it profit a man if you gain the whole world or mm. lose your soul? Yeah. He made his decision. I made mine. I said, I'm out. Oh. Mm. Conclude. <laughs> Conclude. Please. Christ is a black man. The Israelites are black. Even the angels are black. And the colonizers, the so-called Europeans, are the devil the Bible speaks of. Also known as Esau in the Bible. Brothers and sisters, please come join us. Vis visit us at IsraelUnite.org. Uh, call us. Come by so you can learn who you are and what we must do to prepare ourselves for the second coming of our black Lord and Savior. Amen. 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 <laughs> now, um... Okay, to uh, the board directors and I, 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 no one prepared us for this one. I should have had my disclaimer. I don't even remember what it says. <laughs> that the thoughts and, and the ideas is of and God. we have talked about right here uh, how, what, is, is of God. Is, is, of, God. is of God. Yeah, but uh, there's an establishment here that yeah. <laughs> does their no. business and reaches out to people. We give people platforms. But whatever they come and say is is them and they are talking and reading from the Bible that we all have in our houses but I just wanted to clarify that next media is not there I, I wanted to separate in America they call it separation of state and what <laughs> some of those things I, no one prepared me for this one <laughs> but I sure really do did enjoy I'm enlightened I am a very curious and inquisitive person I'm going to do some more homework and I really hope that we'll have an opportunity I hope this is not the last time that you're in the country I hope you know we'll be here again. that you will be here oh, again yes, and yes, we yes, would yes. love to host you again it was an honor and a pleasure and uh, God bless you with the mission yes sir. and to our listeners I hope you got something out of this yeah. remember I told you get your pens and paper go and check what the man of God was saying, you know, because we, we can't, we can't just go by, you hear what you hear. Check, check it, check it, check it. It's in your Bible. 106.1 Next Radio Urban Praise Experience, and God bless you all. Amen. Black power, while Heron was pushed, but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how we're men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth